Hey everyone, my name's Al Marcher, and today we're going to be continuing on with the Unique Knife series by showing off six unique buck knives. Um, let's go ahead and get into the different knives. First we have the Buck Strider 880. This is the Tanto version, and we also have the 880 with the spear point blade. Um, these are literally bricks of knives, not only because they are heavy, but because it feels like a brick when it is in your hand. Very squared off handles. Um, I mean, incredibly squared off. You have basically a right angle there. The edges on these are very right angle. Super uncomfortable knives to handle. Um, but I owned this uh, same variant 10 years ago, ended up selling it off, um, and I decided I had to get one again and picked one this one up, actually these two up, just recently. Very cool uh, tactical knives. Um, the Tanto version doesn't have very much of a usable tip on this. It's more of a piercing tip due to just how thick that blade is and how thick that edge is. Um, but this is fully usable up until that tip. The spear point is a fully usable blade. ATS 34 blade steel, titanium liners, and of course titanium liner lock. It actually has a decent action on these knives. Um, so, very cool, nice piece of buck history. And this is a collaboration between buck knives and strider knives. I have shown the smaller version, which was the 880, in a, another video of the, or another part of this unique knife series. Next, we have the Buck 560, which is basically a Buck 110 with titanium handles, and this one has a crystal pattern on the handle. And I have to do a close-up to really show how beautiful that pattern is. And I have no clue how Buck Knives did that pattern on here. Not as noticeable on the non-display side, but you can still see that crystal pattern has the finger grooves, makes it a little bit more comfortable of a knife, and then the normal Buck 110 blade that's of course stamped 560. I do have a few of these 560s, one of them that actually has a 110 blade on it. So it is interchangeable with a Buck 110, the blade is. Next, we have another interesting collaboration knife, and this is a collaboration between Buck Knives and Wagner, which was a um, Swiss Army knife manufacturer that was purchased, I believe, by Victorinox. So, opens up, and you have about a little, is it a little bit longer than four inches? Maybe four inches? Let's see. Uh, exactly four inches. And then one of the unique features on this, so it has a cork opener or a cork screw, but then how this is actually unlocked, so it has kind of a modified liner lock, so you can see the liner lock here, but you can't actually get your thumb to disengage it. How you actually disengage it, on the non-display side, you have this little switch that you pull down, and it actually pulls that liner lock over, Let's see if we can actually get a close-up showing how that works. So, pull that over, close the blade, which this is kind of a double safety because it has that normal slip joint feel and then a liner lock. And then let's open up that. It's not actually very easy to get that corkscrew open. But there you go, in case you're wanting to drink any wine. Uh, Buck did do a bunch of collaborations, actually, with Wegner. Um, they have a bunch that are appear to be like Swiss Army-style knives um, and some other different multi-tools. So next we have a Buck 110 with a stag handle and Damascus blade. Purchased this, actually, this year. And when I got in the mail, I was looking at it and noticed, oh, it's signed by Chuck Buck in uh, 
1993, June 5th, 1993, which in June, the first weekend of June every year, is Blade Show in Atlanta. So I'm guessing that it was at the Buck Collectors Club meeting. Um, that would have been on the Saturday, most likely, at or in Atlanta. So a beautiful stag on this, Damascus Blade. I really like um, Damascus Buck 110s and just the ultimate stag. Very deep on here, meets up well, and just beautiful. This is actually my second um, Buck 110 with a stag handle. Uh, well, Damascus blade and stag handle. And lastly, we have the Buck Fieldmate, which is basically a smaller version of the Buckmaster with a different handle. So it has, I think it's maybe called the field handle, which is basically rubber, but then the Buckmaster blade, which has the um, saw back, little serrations on here, and then um, the normal edge. So let's see, I think I showed the Buckmaster on another one of these videos. Let's see if I can grab that and show the size difference. One moment, there we go. So there is the Buckmaster and here is the Fieldmate. So it's basically a smaller version of the Buckmaster blade. But you don't get the cool grappling hook feature. <laughs> with the field mate. Anyways, those are the unique buck knives uh, for today. Let me know if you like this unique knife series or if you want to see more unique buck knives. I have enough buck knives to probably make another one for this series. Um, or if you just want to see different unique automatic knives, unique knives in general. Um, I have a lot of different unique knives in my collection that I could show. Um, so anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great day.